In this video, we will see about the cycloconverter, its types and we will discuss the step-up cyclode converter in detail. What is a cycloconverter? Basically, it is a frequency changer which converts an AC voltage of supply frequency Fs to AC voltage of output frequency F0. So, this conversion takes place in one stage. So, the DC link converter is also called as a frequency changer because if you give a uh, AC voltage of some frequency, it will be converted into DC by the diode bridge rectifier. Again, this DC voltage can be converted into AC using an inverter. The only difference here is that the frequency conversion takes place in two stages that is AC to DC. Again, DC is converted to AC. So, this is also a frequency changer, but with two conversion stages. So, in cycloconverter, in one stage, there is a direct conversion from one frequency to another frequency. Another drawback up of this DC link converter is that the inverter will give you a mostly a square wave output rather than a sine wave output. So, whereas in a cycloconverter, you can get a sine wave output easily. So, the types of cycloconverter based on the number of phases on the input and output side. So, if you have a single phase input, you can get a single phase output. Three phase input can be converted to a single phase output and three phase to three phase conversion is also possible. So, these are the types of cycloconverter based on the number of phases on the input and output. Then the types of cycloconverter based on the frequency that is whether your output frequency is greater than the uh, supply frequency or output frequency is less than the supply frequency. So, this is a low frequency signal which is converted to a high frequency signal. So, in each case you have two types midpoint type and bridge type. So, in step term cycler converter also you have midpoint type and bridge type. In this video we will be seeing about single phase to single phase cycloconverter that is the input is single phase output is also single phase and in this single phase to single phase conversion you have step up operation that is the output frequency is greater than the input frequency. So, the two types of midpoint and bridge type of step up cycloconverter we can uh, discuss in detail in this video. So, in this uh, we will see about the midpoint type cycloconverter. So, you see the primary is connected to the source voltage and the secondary have a center tap or the midpoint of the secondary load is connected. You have four thyristors and you have to remember one thing in this type of step up cycloconverter always forced commutation is done. It means that the thyristors are turned off using some external circuit. So, P1 and P2 represents positive group and N1 and N2 represents negative group. So, here P1 and N1 and here P2 and N2 and it should be connected in anti-parallel. Now, let us see how these devices are connected. So, let us take the positive half cycle. So, positive half cycle here plus and here minus. So, you see the transformer secondary. This is plus minus plus minus. This is how voltage will be induced here. Now, during positive half cycle. So, here it is plus. So, P1 will be forward biased. Similarly, here it is minus. So, N2 will be forward biased. So, positive half cycle 
P1 and N2 are forward biased. So you can give the gate pulse and turn the devices. So first let us turn on P1. So you turn on P1 for certain period. So now the current flows from A to the midpoint. That is A to 0. Okay. Now you uh, so let this device P1 conduct for some time and then you force commutate P1. So what is the other device that is forward biased? N2. Okay. So again you turn on N2 for some time. That is the same time P1 is turned on. So you turn on this. Now the current direction will be. You see the N2 direction. It has to flow from this to this. So N2. The current direction is from this O to A. So N2 conducts. So again you have to repeat. P1. Turn off N2 and turn on P1. P1 will be turned on for some time and again N2 will be turned on for some time. So this process has to be repeated during the positive half cycle. Next during negative half cycle P2 and N1 should be alternately turned on and off. So this is negative half cycle. So minus here and plus here. So minus is connected. So N can N1 can be turned on. Similarly, plus is here. So P2 can be turned on. So when P2 is turned on, the current flows from A to O. And when N1 is turned on, current has to flow from O to A so that the current flow will be in this direction through N1. Okay. Remember always these devices are unidirectional devices. Always current flows from anode to cathode. Now let us summarize the waveform. So what we did during past half cycle P1 and N2 are turned on. You can see here P1 is turned on for some time then turned off. N2 is turned on. So when N2 is on current will be negative. Again P1 on, then N2 on, P1 on, N2 on. So this process is repeated in the positive half cycle. So take the negative half cycle. During this time, the other two thyristors, P2, N1, P2, N1 are turned on and off. So by this way, you have, you see, this is one cycle. P1, N2 forms one cycle. This is another cycle, another cycle. So, three cycles are there in one half cycle. So, totally six cycles are there. So, the output frequency is six times the supply frequency. So, this is supply frequency Fs. Okay. This is one cycle in that you are able to get six cycles of output frequency. So F0 is equal to 6 Fs. So this is how step up operation is performed. If the output frequency is greater than the supply frequency, it is called a step up cycloconverter. Next we will see about bridge type converter. The operation is same except that you need more thyristors for this one. So this is of bridge type. So here positive group thyristors, here negative group thyristors. You might remember this circuit. This is similar to that of a dual converter or it is same circuit as a dual converter. And forced commutation is performed. So positive group and negative group to thyristors are there. So in positive half cycle, so you can see here plus is here. So P1 is forward biased and this is connected here. So P2 will be forward biased. So current flows from A to 0. Next, so P1 and P2 are turned on for some time. Again, 
n1 and n2 are turned on for some time because plus is connected here and minus is connected here so n1 and n2 conducts for some time so at that time the current through the device or current through the load is reversed that is the current flows from 0 to a so in this case the current flows from a to 0 so the process has to be repeated again and again during negative half cycle p3 p4 are turned on and n3 n4 are turned on alternately so p1 p2 n1 n2 p1 p2 n1 n2 so it is repeated so it is similar to the midpoint type in midpoint type only one device will be in conduction at any time here two devices will be in conduction otherwise the same procedure so f0 is equal to 6 fs so let us summarize this one so cyclic converter is called a frequency changer and this happens in one stage whereas a dc link converter requires two stage to convert the frequency so there are two types step up cyclo converter where output frequency is greater than fs and step down cyclo converter where output frequency is less than the supply frequency so if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel and if you want any other topic you can mention in the comment section these are some of the references. Thank you.